Hello everyone, welcome to Classmate Academy. In today's class, we are going to look at uh, questions related to number theory, which are asked in SSC CGL 2022 mains. So we are going to discuss only the questions and possibly I'll keep it uh, as short as possible. Okay, by giving you a few tricks, I'll keep it as short as possible. Yeah, <clears throat> usually you think uh, when it comes to mains, people think that the all tough questions will come. Okay, out of all 30 questions, you may think that all 30 questions may be a little bit difficult or something like that. Okay, but it is not usually like that. Okay, and we don't have any specific uh, pattern for mains and uh, prelims. Sometimes tough questions can come in the prelims. Okay, sometimes easy questions can also come in mains. For example, if you look at this uh, question, which are asked in mains, okay, anyone can by looking at it, you can say 1681, we know 1600 is the square of 40. Therefore, you can easily say, you can easily say, 1681 is a square of 41 square. So you can say root of 8 plus 41, root of 49, which is 7. So most of the members without looking at pen, okay, without, <clears throat> without looking at it also, you can without using pen and paper also, you can just simply do it. Okay. And this question can be done without using pen and paper. Product of two numbers is one, <clears throat> 1500, their HF is 10. The number of such possible pairs are, look at here. The moment he says HCF of two numbers is 10, the two numbers are, you can take it as 10x and you can take it as 10y. The product is 1500. Two zeros, two, two zeros cancel, then x into y is equals to 15. So what are the possibilities for x and y? Make sure that x and y are co-prime here. x and y. x comma y are co-prime. You do not have any common factor between x and y. So you can say 1 into 15 is one possibility. 3 into 5 is another possibility. So there are only two pairs possible, okay, which is 1 into 1 and 15. And just uh, two and uh, sorry three and five. Okay, these are the possible values of x and y. So there are only two pairs possible. A number five seven six nine double one six is divisible by which of the following numbers? Okay. Now this question has been asked frequently in twenty twenty two mains. So what you can do is first. Okay, if these type of problem comes, you can simply. If these type of problem comes, you can simply. Look at the options. If option has number 3, then your answer cannot be 6, your answer cannot be 9, your answer cannot be 12, your answer cannot be multiples of 3. And this goes for everything else. Okay, first try to understand okay, how to eliminate the options. When you have okay number 3, okay, which of the following it is divisible by number 3? Okay, if I say it is also divisible by 6, for example, if, if you look at these options, you have number 4, you have number 12, you have number 8. If I say, let's say my answer is D, okay, if a number is divisible by 8, don't you think the number is also divisible by 4? Okay, if any number which is divisible by 12 is also divisible by 4, okay. So fundamentally, checking the option 8 or 12 is wrong, okay, try to understand this. Checking the answer 8 and 12 because if 8 is the answer, ultimately 4 is also an answer. If 12 is the answer, ultimately 4 is also an answer and all factors of 12 are answers. So you cannot say 8 and 12 are answers. Okay, Whenever you have x, multiples of x cannot be your answers. Okay, So you can just take out this 8 and, <coughs> this 8 and 12. Now you only have 4 and 5. Look at the number given. Is it divisible by 5? No. What are the divisibility rule of 5 says? The last digit should be 0 or 5. So it is not even divisible by 5. So you can say the answer is 4 because last two digit numbers are divisible by 4. Okay. Without checking also by looking at the options, you can say the answer is 4. Now see, if a number in the form of, repeatedly root of x minus root of x and root of x and so on, or else you can take it as if the given thing in the form of a plus root of a plus root of a, you will choose a number 
स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ स्क्वेर आफ्टर ए ओके इफ इट इज रूट ऑफ ए माइनस रूट ऑफ ए माइनस रूट ऑफ ए यू लुक एट द नंबर विच इज बिफोर ए बट नॉट फॉर ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए वेर ए शुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन इन टू एन प्लस वन वेन ए शुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन इन टू एन प्लस वन ओके मीनिंग ट्वेंटी इज गिवेन यू कैन राइट इट एज फोर इन टू फाइव प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू कंजिकेटिव इंटीजर्स ओके सो द आंसर फॉर दिस इज सिंपली यू नीड टू लुक एट माइनस मीन्स यू नीड टू लुक एट अ स्क्वेयर नंबर विच इज बिफोर ट्वेंटी वट इज द स्क्वेयर नंबर विच इज बिफोर ट्वेंटी इट इज सिक्सटीन सो वॉट इज रूट रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन यू हैव रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन इज फोर सपोज इफ द सेम क्वेश्चन if it is plus 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 suppose if it is plus 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 so you need to look at a square number which is after 20 that is root of 25 root of 25 is nothing but what simply 5 so minus means you need to look at before plus means you need to look at after but when the number is in the form of what number is in the form of n into n plus 1 let me give you a few examples for it so they may not ask you all <coughs> all the numbers that they want okay so they'll ask you specific numbers which is in the form of n into n plus 1 so n can be 1 1 into 2 2 2 into 3 6 it can be 12 it can be 20 it can be 30 it can be 42 and it goes on like this to this specific numbers if you look at you subtract 1 it will become 1 square you add 2 it becomes 2 square the next square number you subtract what it is 2 into what 3 so you subtract 2 2 square because next before square number you look at and after square number also you look at after square number is 3 so you are you need to add 3 so that you will get 3 square it goes on like that okay it's only the number which is in the form of n into n plus 1 it will not be applicable for anything else if it is something like anything else a plus root of a plus root of a if it is equals to take it as x this whole thing becomes also x therefore a plus x square on both sides you will get x square here you are going to find the quadratic equation you are going to solve that quadratic equation if at all any other number in place of a in place of a if a number is in the form of n into n plus 1 you don't need to okay solve the quadratic equation by looking at the number you will say you you search for a square number which is after or else before you will search for after when it is plus you search for before when it is minus number is divisible by which of the following okay look at when you have 3 there is no way that your answers are 12 and 9 okay only the possible options are 3 and 11 Okay, just now we have discussed if three is there, the multiple of multiple of three cannot be there. Okay, so multiple of three is nine and twelve. Those are not your option because if a number is divisible by twelve, automatically it is divisible by three. If a number is divisible by nine, automatically it is divisible by what? Three. Okay, so your possible options are three and eleven only. Look at the sum. Two plus nine plus one plus eight plus two plus four plus five. Wherever the sum is divisible by three, you can cancel. 2 plus 1, 6 cancel. Remaining is 13. 13 is not divisible by 3. Okay, this is a short way you are doing. Wherever the sum is divisible by 3, you can cancel it. Which means you are indirectly checking whether the sum is divisible by 3 or not. Sum is not divisible by 3, so the number is also not divisible by 3. I don't need to check it with 11 because three options eliminated. There is only one option which is left, which is 11. So without wasting time in the exam, directly you can go for. 11 okay checking and reconfirming you don't have that much of time in the exam okay be sure of what you are doing now <clears throat> in this case also if you look at okay uh, there is square root of 10 plus root of 25 plus root of 108 plus 154 plus root of 225 okay most of us do this blunder mistake of calculating everything and coming from here don't come from this side okay never come from this side just estimate What is the square number after ten? Square number after ten, you have ten plus six, sixteen. You have ten plus fifteen, twenty-five. Okay, I can other words write 
टेन प्लस रूट ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स टेन प्लस इफ इट इज फिफ्टीन मीन्स इट शुड बी रूट ऑफ टू ट्वेंटी फाइव विच वन इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी हेयर टेन प्लस थर्टी सिक्स इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी और टेन टेन प्लस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी आई कैन क्लियरली सी टेन प्लस थर्टी सिक्स इज अ वेरी मच पॉसिबल केस सो यू कैन से टेन प्लस थर्टी सिक्स ओके सॉरी टेन प्लस रूट ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स विच इज नथिंग बट टेन प्लस सिक्स सो टेन प्लस सिक्स मीन्स योर न्यूमरेटर बिकम्स रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन दैट इज फोर योर न्यूमरेटर बिकम्स फोर ओके सी हाउ वी आर गेटिंग इट दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके here i'll try for the approximate square number 20 into 16 320 it is less than 320 number which is close to 320 i would say 324 if you look at the other square numbers 361 is not close 289 is not possible so you can say 324 it is 18 don't waste your time verifying okay those are absolutely correct numbers so what do you do numerator 4 denominator 18 so say your answer is 2 by 9 this confidence you should have okay i need to check it in a proper way but don't solve everything so they let's say 15 then after 154 plus 15 169 which is 13 you add 13 then it will be what <coughs> 13 if you add then you will be getting 221 so 11 so 25 plus 11 36 don't do all that okay by looking at it is 10 plus root of 36 is nothing but 6 it is 16 which is nothing but 4 in the numerator in the denominator 18 so you will get it as 2 by 9 that's it that's how we need to do it even if they give you more numbers also yeah <clears throat> is divisible by which of the following numbers again if 8 is there 16 you cannot you can't say that look at 5 it is not divisible by 5 what is the divisibility rule of 8 divisibility rule of 8 is last three digits should be divisible by 8 look at 216 of course 216 is divisible as we all know 200 400 600 800 are perfectly divisible by 8 so 216 is given 200 plus 16 so 200 is divisible 16 is also divisible therefore entire number is divisible by 8 so there is no doubt in saying 216 is divisible by 8 so therefore entire number is also divisible by 8 do i need to check with 11 no this is where you are wasting the time checking it eight, checking it with 8 is easy okay rather than checking it with 11 so check it with simply 8 If eight is not, then your answer is eleven. If your eleven is okay, if eight is yes, then don't check for eleven. Okay, don't waste your time. The largest three-digit number that gives the same reminder to when divided by three five nine. So he's asking you when a number divided by three five nine, it leaves reminder two. Okay, which means if I subtract the two from nine ninety nine, then after what we have, we have nine eighty four. We have nine eighty, nine ninety eight, nine ninety two. You subtract two. It should be divisible by five. We clearly say the last digit is seven, not divisible by five. Last digit two, not divisible by five. Last digit is six, not divisible by five. Last digit is zero. This is the only possible case. Understood? That is the only possibility. Rest of it, I don't want to look at even because. I know that it should be divisible by five. Okay, I don't care about three and nine first. If it is divisible by five, I can check it. If there are more options which are divisible by five, I'll go with three. I'll go with nine. But there is not a possibility because there is only one option which is divisible by five. That is enough for me to prove that my answer is what nine ninety two. Okay, if you want, you can check nine ninety is also divisible by three and nine. So this one is a direct one. Root of sixty four is eight. It's eleven minus thirteen. So you can say nineteen minus thirteen. Six. Okay, so square of it, six square is thirty-six. So you can go for six square. Okay, it is simply eight plus eleven, nineteen. Nineteen minus what? Thirteen. So nineteen minus thirteen six. So you need to do six square. That's it. The four-digit number four <coughs> six x y is divided by seven. So last digit is missing. So divided by seven. Forty-two. We don't need to go for the quotient. Only concentrate here. Forty-two. One y. We know that fourteen is divisible by seven. Therefore, y is equals to four. So, what is the value of y? Y is equals to four. Okay.
which of the following is number is divisible by 11 11 we know sum of numbers sum of digits in the odd places sum of digits in the even places multiple it should be a multiple of 11 it can be 0 it can be 11 it can be 22 okay look at the alternate digits 5 plus 1 6 9 10 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 so you got 10 minus 10 luckily the first number itself is divisible by what 11 okay if you want to do it properly if the first number is satisfied there is no way that you are going for the second and third and fourth for verification purpose whatever you are doing okay do that perfectly right so rechecking re-verification takes a lot of time in the exam okay be confident about yourself and do it properly with accuracy so <clears throat> that's all uh, questions from number theory these are asked in 2022 mains okay so maybe you can in 2023 mains those who are preparing for 2023 you can expect questions based on reminders. Divisibility rule for sure. One question you can also expect from LCM and HCF concept. And also look at decimals. Converting recurring decimals into what? Fraction. Converting recurring decimals into what? Fraction. These kind of va values also you just, just look at. Those are writing uh, this time mains. Okay. Thank you very much.